Welcome to another episode of the vlog and again you join me up at Norton Disney. Now lots of you of the feedback we've had from catching from every lake has been phenomenal so thanks to every single person that's took the time to send me a message. I've mentioned in the past that lots of my fishing can involve uh, marketing products, testing products that are coming out in the future and this one is exactly that. We have got a new range coming out called the Corda Basics range, a range that's aimed at beginners to the sport. It's also important for the sort of Far Eastern Europe, some slightly lower income countries. We've brought out a range of tackle, a pretty concise range that's a bit lighter on the pocket, that's gonna enable um, kids to be able to get a bit more for their money. But I'll go into sort of full details on the range a little bit throughout. But rather than this just being, if you like, just preaching on about the basics range, we're adding something in it for you as well. For every pound of carp that I catch, we are going to be giving away that value of quarter tackle. Now you might be thinking, what if he doesn't get it right? What if he doesn't catch too many? If he has free fishing, say he has free mid doubles, 45 quid's not very good. That's why I've called in the big guns. Rob Burgess knows Norton Disney better than anyone, so we're gonna add his catches into it too. We're both fishing side by side. We're baiting one big area out in open water, Hopefully the fish turn up and we can win somebody or a few of you plenty of quarter of goodies. Wish us luck, eh? Right, let's get 24 hours on the clock. Rob, ready? Do it, big boy. Get some rods out. <laughs> that's, that's a good start, isn't it? No, I, um, <laughs> I've got new reels put new line on I suddenly thought sometimes when you give it the big one on the first cast you can have an absolute nightmare so I went safe I'm not gonna lie Rob's that excuse out the bag you know Rob didn't of course he did the clip Rob, Rob's got no reels now no he hasn't <laughs> just I <laughs> just didn't cast it where I wanted it. Hit the clip, lovely. My day off today, mate. I ain't doing coaching today. <laughs> That's what I've called you in, really, Rob. <laughs> this is just my uh, my way of, of getting a day's coaching. <laughs> yeah. Well, what a nice little treat it is to fish for spooner. Not something we do a lot of. And uh, yeah, we're at the impressive Norton Disney, obviously. I see him down here on his last blog when he was catching carp from the whole complex, as you'd expect. But yeah, like Spooner said, we're on Billy's. Lovely day for it. And uh, yeah, we get to probably play with the basics range. And um, there's no stress. You know, I'm always having to knock rigs up and play with rigs and be prepared. I've literally took three leaders out of a packet, three ready to tie rigs and uh, yeah, we're fishing, so I'm gonna get this one out there, that'll be the third one in the money. Let's see what jumps on the end.
Here we go. Now, the chances are fishing's going to be quite hard going today. It's very hot. Uh, I can't see the fish wanting to spend a lot of time down on the deck, but come this evening as it cools down, that's when I expect it to get, well, hopefully, fast and furious. Um, could still get the odd bite out of the blue. There's so many carp in here, and I'm still going to keep putting the odd spommer bait out because that's the sort of thing that can instigate a bite. Plus, I've seen a couple of fish short down to me right, so I've got, I'm only fishing two over the bait, and I've got another one that I'm just gonna rove a solid bag around. A bit like I did when I was up here before, when you're just trying to nick a bite, a little, uh, a little solid bag in front of them can make all the difference. But for now, we'll both just keep working it, and hide from the sun. And hope this bomb doesn't open up. Well, we were both sitting there moaning about how this warm weather is going to probably make things hard work. Spoon had put a couple of spawns out, and then I thought, you know what, he's on to saying here, maybe that's going to draw him down because it is warm. So I followed suit, put three spawns over the rods, I reckon five minutes, and we've got our bite. So being proactive has definitely made things happen. Did you, get a, did you get a size gauge? What are we talking in, uh, no, he's in value? It's only a little bubble one, but it's a common, and these quite these are rare. Don't forget, mate, you're, you're fishing for people's back pocket here, essentially. Yes. So they literally all count. Do you know what? I've had literally hundreds of carp from Norton um, across site, and not many commons. Maybe like this is probably the, the second one I can remember. Oh, really? Yeah, they're rare. Especially in, in Pettits. Uh, Billy, sorry, there's quite a few in Pettits. That are lovely as well, 30 pounds, but um Yeah, I've had one mate. Oh yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, how's your luck? Right. But we are gonna have to weigh every fish, Rob, because we wanna uh get it right. Yeah. Yep, first one in the bag. But I mate. All right. And then, mate, off the mark. We've got off the mark with nine pounds. Otherwise known as nine pounds worth of quarter yeah. tackle. Let's have a quick look at him. Well, there he is, the first one. Only a small one for Billy's standards, but he's a cool little common and something I've not caught a lot of out of Billy's. So he's more than welcome and more importantly, nine pounds on the scoreboard, mate. Off the mark, mate. I think you're right though. It does feel like we're, we're working hard for not a lot of rewards, yeah. but come this evening, I've been here many times through the hot periods and uh, yeah, come, I'm gonna say quarter past seven. Oh, that's accurate. Yeah, Toby Carvery time. So. Until then, just keep spotting. That's it, mate, <laughs> just keep spotting. <laughs> well done, mate.
Now, not only is there Rob and I on this episode of the vlog, Gizmo's back again, but on top of that, we've got Lance from Embryo. You might remember seeing him um, on the Gordons and Iris episode. He's back here again today, works for Embryo. He's doing a bit of uh, Instagram work, a bit of social media stuff. So we're hopefully gonna give him plenty to do. Lance, can you come here quick? Oi, oi. Oh, you f***ing <laughs> <laughs> Mate, I knew when that dog was sniffing around, what are you doing over here? Also join us is Lewis Barr, who is our lead videographer. So if you've watched masterclasses, thinking tackles, all the YouTube stuff, this lad here is awesome behind the lens and he captures that for your viewing content. Now, what have we got, Lou? This, this is. Are you filming that? It's good though, isn't it? We are here to talk about, or well, Lewis is to shoot today, the new Basics Ranger Tackle. Now, what is it all about? Now, it's basically been designed for the young angler, the new angler in mind that hasn't got a great deal of disposable money to throw at fishing. We'd rather you guys learn and master the craft of angling and these products will help you do that on a budget. Now, we've got all sorts in the range from hook links to leaders to wrap sticks to mono. There's all key essential items there at an affordable price. It is roasting hot, but we have managed to nick one. And these conditions, they don't get much worse. Blue skies, flat, calm lake, but I managed to get that bite, which is a right result. I'm expecting, uh, I think we're both expecting a proper old feed up from these carp later on. Seven, eight o'clock, hopefully it will go off. But yeah, to get a bonus fish at four in the afternoon, that is not a happy bunny. You're keeping the dream alive here, Rob. I'm not. I'm just giving them lots of free food. Looks about a 16-pounder from here. Yeah, mate. That'll do, mate. Packs of hooks, that is. I was gonna say, if we start to get these with regularity, that'll, I guess. that's soon gonna pop up. Yeah, I'll oh, make tonight, it'll be a carver, I'm sure. Fish number two, uh, 15 pounds, which puts us nicely on 24. Now I reckon in the next few hours, we'll double, if not triple this, as long as Neil pulls his finger out, but uh, no, I'm sure it's gonna kick off soon for the pair of us. The barbecue's on, a few beers, nice burger, a couple more of these, pleasant evening at Norton Disney. Rob's just had that fish, he said all along that pink hook baits are the one. And whilst I have had a pink one out there and sort of kept recasting, even though it hasn't happened, he's now had a couple of bites on it. So now it's coming at the time where we expect more bites. All three are going out on pinks, all different options. I've got a solid bag out there. I've got one of the house dumbbells in squid goo and then a couple of grains of pink plastic. But color does seem to be key. So getting back out, a few spots of bait. And hopefully I can add some uh, Add some cash into the pot. So Rob in a minute. Mm. 
Well, it is all going off. I did say seven in the evening would be a really good time. It's now up past six. The clouds have come, the temperature's dropped, and the fish are feeding. Uh, second bite in probably half an hour. And you know what actually topped this spot up? I put about 30 spawns of uh, pellet and that little flake maize mix. All the little link boilies, smart liquid. It's finally drawn them down. And we're starting to get some results. But more importantly, we're starting to get some numbers on the board. 25 pounds at the minute. If we can get this one in, hopefully that puts us to 40. You never know. Before dark, you might even be on 100. Wouldn't that be nice? Good job you're here, mate. <laughs> <laughs> wouldn't be giving a great deal away otherwise. We wouldn't be giving much away at all, would we? No, I think Lady Luck's on my side at the minute. Ooh, lovely oh, lovely little dark one. Beautiful. Oh, mate. This is beautiful. This is what Billy's and Norton Disney is all about. Beautiful, beautiful carp. He is cool, isn't he? He is fucked up. <laughs> Love it. There we go, number three, an absolute beautifully scaled mirror. This one going 12 pounds, which puts us on 36. So yeah, 36 pounds. All we need now is old Spooner to get his rods rocking. And uh, yeah, we're heading in the right direction. But what a beautiful carp. As much as I am enjoying being Rob's gilly, it would be nice to have a go myself. That's not being selfish, is it? Just wanting to get off the mark. Weather's definitely turned though. Much cloudier, much cooler. Got to happen soon. If not, I'm going to push Rob in and Nicky's rods and just fish in his spot for the night. Well, couldn't have timed it any better. I said it started to feel right for a bite. Lo and behold, that's exactly what's happened. Get off you. A little pink one hanging out of its chop there. Oh yes, that's good <laughs> advice mate. Pink. Here we go. Hey, we're on the right. Cheers, mate. Racking up the pounds now. Now we're going. Oh, no, I said quarter past seven. Look at the time. Eee. Someone fishes here too much. I thought I know everything. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I didn't mean to take the mitt. Can I have another hook, mate? <laughs> Use that one wisely, sir. I'll chop it in half and put it on the other one. <laughs> Right, that is just under 12 pounds, so we'll call it 12. With Rob's 36, 48 pound, now we're ticking. He got dragged in. Wow, he turned so quick. Look at that Dorado. And what a Disney version.
Well, there we go. We're, we're coming right to the end of the first day. We're going to carry on catching as many as we possibly can, but we've got a couple of low doubles each. Takes us up to 73 pound. We're ticking along nicely now, you mate. Did, mate. Slow, slow start, nicking bites. But yeah, the last hour, as promised, you did. It's got a you bit did. more consistent, which uh, yeah, it's cooler, isn't it? It's a lot nicer. Oh, mate. Well, I'm cold now. Let's put a jumper on. <laughs> yeah. You won't be cold with all the action tonight, hopefully. A couple of pearls, I mate. Getting back and uh, yeah, get some more bait. I think. That's just what I was going to yeah. say. A bit more bait. Thank you. Happy Mwah. days. Well, we topped the spots up. I've had 12 each. Actually, Neil done 11 because that's lucky for him. And uh, yeah, the bait, the bite, sorry, continue. Well, there we go, another one just on dark seven or eight fish but more importantly this puts us on 87 pounds so the way things are going one more fish and we will put ourselves over the 100 pound mark and a hundred pounds for tackle Summation Nick, uh, two bites in dark, which to be fair, you know, we didn't really work it. We're not out there spotting all night long. We we're both very, very tired. Uh, the last one out was 18 pound, which puts us nicely on 117. But um, the conditions are much better today. Look at this, a bit of overcast, a bit of rain. And yeah, I think over the next few hours, we can get to sort of 200 pound quite easily. I'm not going to do that sitting in here, so I need to get this coffee down and then get some back out of there. Well, I'm definitely letting the team down a bit here. I think Rob's had, I think we're up to £117, and I've chipped in with about 15, no, what have I done? About £25 of that. I don't really know what to say. I haven't got an excuse for it. We're fishing side by side. Um, I'm just not getting the same traffic that he is. Or, just not as good as he is. <laughs> Either way, he's definitely showing me the way. But that doesn't matter. We called him in because we wanted to make sure that we caught as many fish as possible to make the prize as best as possible. So I've got, I've got no ego. I'm quite happy that he's absolutely smashing me off the next peg. Oh. Back's out. It's morning, boys. I hate him. Idiot. Tell you what, it's nice to uh to worry about tying rigs but in all seriousness these are like mustard you know real simple little rig you know super effective they don't tangle you know like I said earlier on I was really worried about you know, little short braided rigs I must have had say 50 casts now I've not had a single tangle hook holds have been spot on look at that just I'm actually uh very impressed and I'm quite a riggy lad I like things absolutely spot on these tip the boxes they really do and they're easy to use
Now you keep hearing the word basics mentioned by me and Rob, that's the range of kit that we're using, but what actually is it? Uh, essentially it's a range of products that, that Danny wanted to bring out that made some of the quarter items more accessible to youngsters getting into the sport or, or people of any age getting into the sport that may not have the, the levels of disposable income needed to buy everything with all bells and whistles on but wanted to buy from a brand that's reputable, wanted to buy high quality items but be able to tie some basic rigs using some basic tackle that will still get you plenty of bites and that's exactly what it's aimed around. Now in some cases it's done by, to keep the price down, it's done by putting less on spools, less in packets for argument's sake. Hook link material will come on a spool of 10 metres rather than the 20 that you've become accustomed to. But if you're not going fishing that often, 10 metres of hook link will actually last you a really long time. Um, I mean as you can see here I've tied everything here lead aside using the range. I've got some rig tube in there, tail rubber, leg clip, anti-tangle sleeve, the new coated hook link material and a wide gape style hook. All come out of the basics kit, very very easy to tie and the great thing is it all it's all modular, it all goes together with just one knot. I've literally tied my swivel on and that's it. Everything else clicks perfectly into place. There are some other bits coming into the range uh, like there's a new stow bobbin, again with a, with a ball chain rather than the normal chain that they've come with. They're a little bit shorter. You've got a basics tackle box coming into the range, a set of distance sticks. Like I say, all stuff that are absolutely going to do the job. They're going to help you catch plenty of carp, but they're just going to be a little bit lighter on your pocket. Now, I need to get this rod back in the water because Rob is trouncing me. And one thing I am is a trier. He broke the rod. Come on, monkey. You are not, not, not putting your best performance. What are you munching, Rob? Got a mouthful of breakfast. <laughs> nice healthy breakfast? Or? No, biscuits and tea. But I've got a dry mouth now. <laughs> it gets you going. But Neil, Neil was just sitting there talking about why it's not happening. Um, yeah, not much activity out here this morning. Not a lot of slicks on the bait, you know. When you get them, you've got a lot of smart liquid in the mix, and when the fish get on the bait, you know, you get a big bleed off, and you know you're going to get a bite very, very soon. But yeah, this one just turn up. And at the minute, it's doing its utter best to get its head in some weed, but steady pressure usually wins the race. Come on, girl. And the old weed, mate. Yeah, mate, it's got its head in just a little bit, but you know what it's like, I think. Here it comes. I was going to say, like you're getting a bit Yeah. Away. Little line markers there. Here she comes, she's free. Um, yeah, Maybe they, I think they just drifted off yesterday because, you know, we were tired. We didn't keep the bait going in, which is a schoolboy error. And this morning, you know, we've had to start again and such. Yeah, I'm not. No. I'm not going to lie. Obviously, it's a long, long journey up in yeah. the morning. Left home at four. Yeah. I just sat on that bed last night. I'm like, I need to sleep. But yeah. I expected to get a bite, and then I'd be back on it. But nothing yeah, happened. No, just no, up no, at four, up four this morning. Go remember these fish. You know, that they're going around in such numbers that 30 spawns. It's, it's half an hour's work. Yeah, it's a snack. It's gone. Yeah. You yeah. know, so if you're not always on it, you've always run the risk of them pushing off and find someone else's baited spot. Um, it just takes that little bit longer for it to kick start again and you start, you know, this morning we've basically just turned up and started again. Yeah, we have. So hopefully but this will be the catalyst to... Uh, how long have you had them out? What, what's the time now? Uh, past seven. Yeah, maybe an hour and a half. Yeah, that maybe an hour and a half. No, it's not. We've, no. Got to, we've got to appreciate, if you turn up to a yeah. lake and you can catch them in an hour and a half starting, yeah. ain't a bad thing. 30 spoms as well. Exactly. <laughs> And with them 30 swans, it sounds like a lot of bait, and it is, but 
it's actually very cost effective because we're using a lot of the house pellet. So you haven't, you're not putting in lots of money's worth. So people don't be put off by the fact we're putting in that much bait. Cost wise, 30 spoms is probably about a quid. It really isn't a lot of money, you know, but they absolutely love the stuff in here. Oh, you're in, mate, you're in, go on, son. Oh, no. It's all going off. Look at you right there, Luke. I love it when it's like that. <laughs> Welcome to Billy's Lake. Rob, can you see if your lines are moving? If not, if I'm over the top, I'll... Get in that net, get in that net, yes! Well done! Boom! Yes! They're the ones, they put points on the board. Points literally win prizes. Oh mate. For a morning brace. Uh, not loads of carp this morning, but what we've lacked in quantity, I'd say you've definitely <laughs> caught <Yeah>. in quality. <laughs> that is absolutely beautiful, mate. Um, but yeah, two bites, which gives us another 29 pound joint. 16 pounds, 13 pounds, and that gives us, I believe, my maths are right, one, four, six. So you only know that you've already worked it out. I've got to like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, we, we're getting there. We're getting a nice little tally together now. We haven't got long left. A few more bites though. And someone's in for a nice, nice little prize. We're pleased with what we've caught, but by Billy's standards, it's been quite tricky, but there hasn't been loads of bites coming from around the lake. So I think we'll, we'll take what we've had. We'll work hard for the last little bit and see if we can get it up to 200 quid. I'm sure we can. I'm sure. Let's, let's try harder. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mark on it. Are we hiding that already? I, don't know. I reckon you've got we're at 140 something and okay. you've got one in the net already. Oh, there. I forgot about that one. Yeah. 175 sort of area, I reckon. Lovely. This one is up the side, so he wants to come and have his photo taken. Mm. An important pink one there. There it is. Oh, oh. get in there, you. Thank you. Lovely. <laughs> Mate. Well, it's late in the day. We've only got about three quarters of an hour to an hour left of Lewis's time. We want to try and whack up as much weight as we can. And this little flurry of action is really helping us. Three fish in the last half an hour. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Well, I've got to be honest, it's been far tougher than we expected, but we've still amassed, Rob's done most of it, 184 pound in weight of carp. Not bad going, that's not it? too bad, mate, for the conditions. Uh, yeah. Flat calm, not a lot of wind, high pressure yesterday. We'll take that, but I'm sure we can double that, can't we? I think so, mate. It's so 184 pound, that, that very quickly becomes prizes to the value of 368 pound. You know what? 
we're gonna do better than that. Let's make it 500 quid. There's gonna be three lucky winners, easy to enter. Just tag someone in the comments below, either a youngster that's just getting into fishing or someone of any age that's getting into fishing that's gonna be deserving of this sort of prize that can really help and put some extra carp on the bank. One thing's for sure, it's been nice to spend a bit of time with Rob, even though he's absolutely spanked me off the next peg, mm -hmm. but that's fishing. that's fishing. Good luck, guys.